Hello everyone! Today we have a spooky Halloween haul for you. Jewelry and accessories and clothing. So like, I'm going to start with the dress. And this came from Party City and it's a really nice dress. It's like a nice silky material. It has a little bit of give but it's not like the super thin swimsuit kind of stuff. It's got a three layer skirt, it's got a silk layer and then a little bit of like kind of lace crinoline and then this layer on top. So it is nicely layered and it's not too thin so that's cool it's um, comfortable and it form fits nicely and it has like I said enough stretch that it will do that but not like too much to make it like not hold its shape or look too cheap and I think this was $40 but I am not sure anymore but it's still online I will try to find it and Halloween City tends to stock the same things yearly so if you want to look spooky in this oh, I, I got it for the summer that's why I'm showing it now but it's a good Halloween dress and um, so that's the deal with that. But it has the cat face on the chest. I'll move my jewelry out of the way, but it has that. And then it's got this cute little bow here that is part of the dress. And then the skirt that I think I'm wearing my bat tights with it now that I actually found at 7 Eleven, so that rocked. Um, but the, dress, the cat face, by the way, is like raised and it's like you can feel all the whiskers and the details. It's really cool. So I don't think it's going to come off. It's like part of the dress and it shouldn't fade. So that's nice. And then when you turn around, it has a cute little tail with wire. And you can bend it or straighten it, or if you're not going to sit down a lot, maybe. Make it, well, no, it falls. So it can curve. It can do. I like it kind of curved like this. And it has a button where you can take it off if you don't want to go around with a tail. But it's so cool. How can you not? But. You can just go, and you could tie like a little spider charm or something to hang back there on the button if you wanted to, um, or it would just look like the dress buttons or whatever. But I think the tail's cute, and I leave it on there. That's my um, spider web scarf that is hanging down in the back. So yeah, it just goes back on really easily, and it's just a little padded tail with a wire that you can bend. So that's a really a cute touch. I always wanted a really cool black cat dress, and I looked at some online, and I got one. But I just really love this one. It's my favorite. It's short sleeve for the summer and it's just so spooky cute I love it and it's comfortable and for me I love to look cool and be comfortable and it just covers all that so very cool and the headband I'm wearing comes from Party City as well and I would just take it down and it's got little plushy cat heads it's very cute and they have whiskers and they're very 3D like someone cut them off little innocent cats and sewed them on here but it's also very comfortable and stretchy and um, I guess you could snap the plastic if you're really rough with it, but I mean, if you're not, it's not one of those that just is asking to snap itself because it's cheaply made or anything. So it seems well made. It's comfortable. It's wide. It doesn't have those teeth that like dig into your hair. And it was, I want to say $5. And it's probably on sale after Halloween, but the plush um, heads feel really nice. Like the material is nice and sturdy. And it's just a really cute, well made piece. And I thought it was a nice addition to the whole cat dress with the cat eyeglasses and all that just for the cat look. And that also came from Halloween City. So it's really nice when Halloween stores have like really good clothes that are spooky kind of gothic that you can wear all the time. So I'm very pleased with that. First I want to show this really fun find from eBay. It was $10 and I will link it below. Free shipping. It's like a pewter skeleton bat and it has an adjustable cord. I have it on the shortest length but you can make it longer just with the slide knots here and I would call it unisex and it's flat on the back like that and the front is a skeleton bat hanging upside down I love upside down bats and I love like the look of this one it reminds me of the skeleton bat that I got from Joann's I think it's really big and it's a prop and I have it hanging on our hall closet door like a linen closet and he's got his little feet hooked on top of the door and he hangs he's very cool so um, it kind of reminds me of a mini version of him and you can see all the bones and everything a little skeleton face now my big skeleton bat has like um, ears and like I guess you can easily tell he's a bat that way and this one doesn't have ears but he is anatomically correct they wouldn't have ears because your ears are cartilage and skin and they're not bones so when you're a skeleton bat when you die you will not have ears so um, this is actually more accurate and you see his little feet hanging there and his little face and I really love him and I like layering him with my other stuff um, I have my little silver bat here right above him that is not a skeleton 
and then him, and then the next item, which I'm going to do a, a more thorough review on later, just by itself, with my Alchemy Gothic uh, playlist and whatnot. But this is the Gothic Bat by Alchemy Gothic. Uh, he was $16 on Amazon. Nice, big, heavy, sturdy piece for $16. Gotta love it. Another unisex piece. He seems like a tough bat. Like, you just don't want to mess with him or put your fingers in his mouth or anything, right? Love it. So I've been wearing him, and I'm ready to review him soon, but like I said, that'll be done later. But both of them are comfortable and hold up well. And um, this little skeleton bat, by the way, came in a little red box. I love red. It's like vampire blood, so that was nice. Nicely packaged and shipped in a timely manner, so that was cool. The next items are from Mama Otter's Tidbits on Amazon. Um, I think I said this, the Alchemy Gothic came from Amazon as well. But the next are from Mama Otter's Tidbits. Um, she sent her card as well as some earrings. These are hanging skeleton earrings. They're big, but they're really lightweight. And they're going to go in the jewelry giveaway. And they're 3D. That's the back over here. That's cool. And I am, she's donated these to the giveaway, and I'll be printing out where everything else came from in the giveaway with the shops and whatnot. And I will show you her card. She has a bunch of cool Halloween spooky stuff. This is her card. Behold the card. Every time I get stuff from her, she forgets to put cards in. I'm like, give me cards this time. So we now have the card, and all her stuff comes in these little boxes so it stays nice and sturdily packaged so that is cool and the thing I got from me when she sent the giveaway donation I'm excited about these I like little um, stud earrings in my second piercing hole I only have two I'm all modest my witch hat earrings are down here and they're all brassy for my autumn fall Halloween feel but above them are these sterling silver little bat studs with amber bodies and the amber is real these are $20 and it's real amber and sterling silver and bats and I love bats and I love amber and amber is an autumn color and so autumn bats I couldn't resist and I had to get them it's just a cute little stud and it looks really cute above my witch hat and I really like them a lot I sleep in them I bathe in them they're comfortable I don't feel them there I don't like to have my ear holes pulled and assaulted by heavy earrings it's just not comfortable and it messes up your ears and they're not gonna look pretty later so I just don't like that um, so if I if I feel them I just can't do it um, but these bats are amazing and I love them and it's like a little amber teardrop. Amber is petrified tree sap, like the petrified resin. It takes forever to happen, like millions of years. It's fascinating and I love it and I love history and like the history of what people wear and jewelry and whatnot just through the ages and amber is like one of the oldest things that you can read all the like period books of way back in the day and they have amber like the ancient Greeks and whatever and I'm like oh that's so cool. That's how I kind of got into it just from all my reading but um, those are cute little Halloween finds and the next piece is an owl ring that is stainless steel so it won't ever rust it's nice and I think it's like 16 or 14 grams I got it from eBay it's from Thailand is that right Thailand or Taiwan Taiwan yeah that's Taiwan anyway they ask you your ring size and I hope you guys get a better situation than I got this is the Athena owl ring and I love it. it. It puts me in a Harry Potter frame of mind. And I love the Greek stuff, so Athena's owl is good. This one looks kind of severe. I like that. Like, don't mess with this owl. He's like, you know, friends with the alchemy gothic bat that says, don't mess with me. They're like, I know, right? So, they look, like, cool. Um, assertive, aggressive. I like that. And But I wanted a size 5, and I got a size 4. And the only reason I didn't flip is because I can wear it on my pinky and I don't have a lot of rings that I wear on this pinky. I have a few. I have a little ghosty and an emerald ring that my mom gave me. So, But the pump, my pumpkin always stays on this pinky. He's like always here. He's like never goes away. But I don't have a lot for this one. Um, sometimes my plague doctor mask is on here, but just not a lot. So it's nice to have another pinky ring for the rotation. He's kind of big and solid, but he doesn't bother me. He's comfortable. And I love the 3D detail. And let me take it back off. It the wings wrap around the band almost to the very back. Um, I wish the band wasn't as wide back here, like, but you know, it is what it is. So a little bit of wideness in the hole around the finger encasement that I don't love, but it's just my personal preference. Um, my dragon ring from Western Mountain, the wings wrap all the way around too, but the band under the wrap is thinner, so it doesn't feel as heavy in encasing. And like I love her stuff. She's on Etsy. 
and she did the dragon ring for me that and he does that so um you know it's okay it's it's a nice ring I do like it I'm keeping it but I wasn't happy about a whole size difference like there's no way this will go on my five I can fit a five on three of my fingers and there's no way this will go on anything but my pinky so it wasn't like slightly off it was like hardcore off and it would have been more of a problem if I couldn't wear it at all but sending it back would have been like more expensive than it's worth because it was only a $30 ring with free shipping and I would be like at least half of that to send it back and then get it done and hope they understood me and I don't know it's just so just be warned maybe size up and hope for the best but it's a really cool owl and I was looking at owl rings online and it did look the best like of the owl rings that I was looking at I just look the coolest so you know sometimes if you wear like a five on one finger and a six on the other you know size up to a six and then if it's a five you can wear it still wear it so just size to a point that um, you have a size of leeway that you can still wear on a different finger and be willing to do that would be my advice so that has been this haul with the Halloween jewelry clothing accessories we hope it gave you spooky vibes if you guys are new do check out our spooky playlists join our channel and until next time, stay spooky, my friends.